ladies, to give you some perspective, according to the Alzheimer's Tennessee website, more than 110,000 people in our state live with Alzheimer's. Understandably, there are concerns. Your loved one may become lost. Advocates tell me the first step is asking for help. Wandering or becoming lost. Well, it's a very scary part of this disease. Alzheimer's Tennessee saying this disease is complicated. And so um, one of the best things a caregiver can do is to be educated about things that might happen as, as the disease progresses and, and be prepared ahead of time as opposed to having to deal with um, something that happens in hindsight. Advocates say there are devices with GPS and a medical alert bracelet can be a help. Doing safety measures in the home are, is one way. Another way is enrolling a loved one at the Howard Circle of Friends which is an adult daycare where they are, are professionally um, watched and have activities then the wandering tends to not be as evident if your loved one stays home alzheimer's tennessee suggests if there's something that just sort of keeps them interested and redirected it's a great opportunity to prevent wandering at the office on aging in knox county they receive calls every day asking for help it's definitely a hard conversation to have families struggle with it all the time um, knowing when to allow someone as much independence as possible and when they really need that care and need a little extra assistance. And if your loved one has memory issues, there are resources they can connect you with. We have, for example, the Daily Living Center. That is an adult daycare facility. Allows someone to go there during the day, get some meals, get activities, be in a safe environment. Um, we also have resources in the home, such as the Senior Companion Program. That's a program that helps to send in volunteers. Advocates say balancing independence, respect, and care is tough. I think that's the number one thing that people don't know is that there is help out there. And just start reaching out for help. That's really the first key. Now, if you're not sure where to start, you can always call 211 or Alzheimer's Tennessee has a 24 hour hotline at 1 800 259 4283. Ladies. All right, Laura, thank you so much. And we made sure to put those phone numbers, resources, and organizations that can help on our website at WATE.com. Again, so important to take that first step. Reach yep. out for help, everyone. You can find all that information under the As Seen On section.